Today we are fixing this hair. I just pulled up to Ashley's studio. Um, if you don't know, Ashley's my best friend. She does hair and she has her own little studio. So I wanted to go a little bit lighter, but not like blonde, more kind of like a bronze. Cause right now it's just my natural color, which is like super dark, almost black. And I've had it like this for almost two years, a little over two years. So I need a change. I just had a baby. I feel very blah. So I just need like a little, I don't know, a little razzle dazzle, something, something different because I'm just bored with my hair. But that's what we're doing right now. I literally just pulled up. She's waiting for me. So we're going to go inside and I will take you along. We're here. I'm getting my hair done. Say hi to my vlog. Hi. <laughs> so I'm just processing. I look crazy. My hair is done. I love it. It's like subtle, not too light. My hair is still long. I love it. It looks so cute. Hey guys, it's a couple days later. I didn't film too much after I got my hair done. Um, basically, I just ended up going home after that. But now I'm on my way to get my nails done. I haven't got my nails done in like a month, over a little over a month, um, which is not a big deal to me. The main thing is because they grow so fast and I hate when they're like super long. So I got a French manicure like a month ago. And this one broke, so these are my real nails, but they're just like grown out and long and I just am dying to fix them. So we're on our way to get our nails done now. Juan is home with Layla, watching her while I go get my nails done. So that's nice that I can go do that. He has to work tonight, so I have to hurry back, but, but yeah, I'm glad that I can have a second to go do that. I don't love leaving her though, I miss her already, so that's fun, but. But yeah, we're gonna go get our nails done and I'm on the way and I will see you guys there. Okay, so I just got out of the nail salon and here are my nails. They're just cute pink little nails. Something simple and basic. I just like to have them short, um, especially when dealing with the baby and getting her in and out of the car seat. Like if my nails are long, I can't press the button to open the buckle thing. So I'm just glad to have like short, short nails again. And my nails grow so, so fast, so in like two weeks they'll be like long again. But yeah, now Juan has to work tonight, so I'm getting us food. And I'm going to head home and see my baby because I miss her. I've only been away from her for like an hour, and I miss her already. But. All right, I just got home. I have my salad right here. And then I have my little baby here in the swing. Hi. Say hi, baby. <laughs> you just chilling, you have hiccups. You cutie. Yeah, I know. You excited to see mama. I miss you. <laughs> so cute. I'm gonna try to eat really fast so then I can pick her up because she's getting antsy, I can tell. It's a few hours later. Um, I didn't really do anything after I ate. She took a nap on me and then I fed her and she had a blowout. That's why I put her just in this basic white onesie. I changed my sweatshirt because I had like a jean jacket on before and this was just more comfortable for her to lay on me. <laughs> Look at her hair, her hair is crazy. It's like, it's sticking up because I feel like it doesn't know whether it should go in the front or the back, but I think we might go for a little drive. We'll see, but we'll see how the day goes, right? Maybe we'll go for a walk later. Oh my God, I just said walk and my dog heard <laughs> me. Cooper's like, I like walks. We're ready for our ride. I love this camera monitor thing for a car instead of the mirror. I just have it right on the dash and I can look up, look at it quickly while I'm driving to check on her. Um, it also has night vision. I really, really love it. Got my usual. I feel bad because we just got home and she's asleep, so. Look at that little face. Oh, so I'm contemplating on sitting in the car for a little bit. Good morning, sunshine. She woke up on her own. <laughs> You're so excited. She loves this thing so much. Oh, look at your little, look at your little scrunch. Oh my goodness. 
Hey, hi. <laughs> now she's wide awake, so I'll probably play with her a little bit and then try to wind her down and take another nap. Cooper, get out of my face. Let's see, baby, are you excited? You love this. I know. Mm. Now she's starting to like reach out and grab her toys and it's so cute. Smelling your sister? Oh, oh, okay. All is well, all is better. So you can have her nap at almost 11. Um, so he's been napping for quite a while, but I was just gonna wait till Kiko Layla. gets home from the gym. I'm gonna make him a bottle really quickly. Since he is a little one-year-old toddler boy now, Layla. we're obviously transitioning Layla. off of All right, I just changed her diaper. Now I'm putting her in her PJs. She loves getting her diaper changed. I don't know if it's just this changing mat. We have the Kikaru, but she just loves being on it and she's always laughing and smiling. I know. Are you ready to take a nap? Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, you are. Also, thank God for the diaper genie. God bless. Nice sleepy girl. Ready to take a nap? Are you ready to take a nap? We got this new lamb for her room. It's so cute. Love. So I'm going to try to put her to sleep. And I will be back. She's finally asleep. And I am just sitting here watching Vanderpump Rules. That's pretty much it. I'm not gonna do anything for the rest of the day. I'm just gonna chill here and then I have to feed her again. Um, but my camera's about to die, so I will pick this back up tomorrow, hopefully. And yeah, I'll see you then. Good night. All done. Here, let me button the back ones. Your hair is so long, Momo. Your hair is so long. And today we are just hanging out. I just changed her outfit, put a little bow on her. Her hair's a little crazy. I took a shower, got myself ready while she was taking a nap, a speed shower, because if you know, you know, those naps are like 10, 15, 20 minutes. So we'll probably have her play a little bit. I don't have any plans for today, but I know I do want to get out of the house because I did not leave the house yesterday. So today's one of those days. The sun is out. So even if it's just for a walk or if we just go for a drive to get food or coffee or Starbucks or something, then that's enough. Right? You want to do that? Yes. I don't know if this is like a postpartum thing, but has anyone, any moms out there noticed a change in their lashes? Like I feel like, I don't know if I'm losing some, like if it's part of the postpartum hair loss or I don't know, but I feel like my lashes are different than how they were before, so I don't know, maybe it's just me. But let's go put you down to play. I'm gonna put her on her play mat. Also, I got a bunch of cute like basics for Layla um, on H&M. I did a little um, haul on TikTok, but I ordered a bunch of cute clothes because she just needs like, she needed some sleepers to go to sleep because she grew out of her newborn ones. She was wearing newborn for a while and she's about to be four months. So now she's wearing zero to three. Um, so she just didn't have a lot of sleepers and like basics, like onesies. Um, I had some plain white ones, but I just, I haven't like updated her wardrobe basically for her sizing. I didn't buy a lot of clothes in the beginning at all because I knew, I didn't know like how big she was going to be, how small. So I like wanted to wait. So this is the first time that I've really bought like kind of like a bunch of clothes, not a bunch, but. H&M has the cutest clothes for babies. Um, I don't know about in store, but I got stuff online. <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you. So first I got this five pack from H&M. I think for, it came in a five pack. I think this might've been like $15, $15, $20. I love it. It's like tank bodysuits, especially since the spring and summer is coming. It gets really hot here in Florida. So this is like perfect for every day. And she's not like super chunky yet. So she just gets really long. So that's how she grows out of her like other sleepers and other clothes. But since these don't have like the feeder arms on them, it's like perfect for her to wear, wear for a while. So that's good. Next thing I got was this cute 
little romper. Just has little like daisies on it and then it has buttons on the bottom to open. Oh I got these as well. This came in a two pack with these. So this is the same thing as the other one basically, just like different colors, different fabric. This is more kind of like ribbed instead of the other ones. I love this one. It has like the little flowers, perfect for spring. And then I got this romper. This is cute too. The buttons go all up and down here so you can open it and there's also some buttons on the back. But this color is so freaking cute. I just can't with the outfits that they have. H&M has like the best stuff. The last thing I got from H&M was this, these. This also came in a two pack. Um, they're just long sleeve basic bodysuits, but they have like a cute little print. I don't know if you can really see. Oh, I also got this cute little sun hat um, because obviously we're going to start going out more like outside. And so she has like a hat to wear um, so she can wear this at Disney. We plan on going to Disney next month and like for the pool days and stuff like that. I also got a couple things at Old Navy. Um, Old Navy and H&M are my favorite places to get clothes right now. The price point is just great because obviously babies grow out of clothes so quickly but they have the cutest things also so you're getting cute things at a really good price instead of having to pay like so much money for outfits that they're really going to wear for a month or two so um, this was another romper that i got in store this is so freaking cute i can't wait to put this on her and then this i got these little overall it has buttons at the bottom, but I got this in three to six months just so that she can wear it for longer. Um, she can wear this now, but I feel like this will last her a while. Remember I said she needed some sleepers, so I got, I think this was a three pack. It came with this, a neutral color, and then like a beigey color. They have the double zippers, which I love. They have the mittens if you want to put those. Sometimes I like to put those still. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I like to roll over the mittens at night because her hands get cold sometimes depending on the weather. But So that's my haul of cute little baby clothes. I just wanted to show you because I was looking for where I could get baby clothes. Oh, and Walmart too. We went grocery shopping the other day and I was like, let's look at the baby section because I never have looked at the baby section there before. I don't know why. Um, but they also have really cute like basics. They have um, body suits. I got her a pack of short sleeve. They were like ribbed short sleeve body suits, but they were like cute colors, white, lavender, like a pastel pink color. They had sleepers, like all for really good prices. I think one of the sleepers I paid like $5 for them. How did you get like that? Her bows are a little bit big on her, so sometimes they fall down. Oh my God, you look so cute. I can't. I'll like lay her down on the mat regular and she knows how to turn and sometimes she ends up the opposite way and I'm like, girl. We're at this stage now where she is like starting to like play with more things. Her wake windows are a little bit longer now, so she'll be up for an hour, an hour and a half, sometimes two hours depending, but that's where her wake window is now. So we put her on the play mat to play for a little until she gets over it. So I got her this thing from Target the other day. It's like a like crinkle book and then the corners have, I don't know what that's called, but it's basically so that they can put it in their mouths for when she starts teething, which I think she's teething already because she's drooling like crazy and she just like chews on her fist all day long. So got her this, but she doesn't really know how to use it, I don't think. She's used it before, like once or twice, and she just like sucks on the side part, which is like a pacifier. Um, but she doesn't know that like the top part you can put in her mouth yet. So she is three months. She's about to be four months in a couple days. Next week, you're gonna be four months. Oh my God. The last time I did a vlog, she was only five weeks. And it's so crazy and it's so sad how much she has grown and changed since then and just since we brought her home. And it's time goes by so fast and it's crazy. I, I watched that video like yesterday, I think, and I was like, 
I haven't made a vlog in a while and I like to look back on them because I'm like, oh my God, she was so tiny. But like day to day, you don't like really notice it. But then when you look back on photos and stuff and now like even just how I hold her or how like I can just feel that she's bigger, like, oh, it's so sad. And she doesn't fit in her newborn clothes anymore. And oh, it's really sad, but I love her and I'm grateful that I've been able to be home in this time and all of that. I went on a girls trip for my best friend's bachelorette. We went to South Carolina and that was the first time that I was like away from her. And it was very hard, but it was only for three days and I did it. So now I feel like after I did that, I can maybe go back to work for one or two days a week. Maybe we'll see. I just don't want to miss anything. And the first year is so crucial when they're like, they're laughing. She just started laughing, like full on laughing last week. Um, and I got that on video and that was the cutest thing. I was dying for her to laugh and she can roll now. She's gonna roll over soon and she'll be crawling and I don't wanna miss any of those things. So now it's literally 1.45. I haven't eaten lunch yet. She is going to eat at like two. So I think I'm gonna make like a salad or something. And then after that, we have to get out of this house. I think maybe we'll drive to Starbucks or something. I would like to go to like the park or something, but it just scares me being alone with her. I don't trust this world anymore. You can't even just like go to the park and feel safe. But tomorrow morning, um, every Tuesday, we've been going on like a hot mom walk with my other like mom friends. And I love it so much. It's something that I look forward to. We like get our steps in, we walk like a couple miles and the kids get to play. And Layla loves walking. She loves being in the stroller. She'll just like look around or she'll fall asleep. So she's literally the best. We got her this little chair thing on Amazon. It's kind of like a high chair type thing, but not really. And she can sit in here whenever I'm making her bottle or like if we're eating, we'll have her on here. Um, always we watch her in this. I would not recommend putting her in this and leaving it somewhere. We only have her in it for like maybe like 10, 15 minutes at a time. But it's very like handy to have, especially when I'm home alone and like I need to make her bottle and she's crying or something. I actually might put her on here now because she kind of seems over the <laughs> play mat. But look how she turned. You just turned around, Mama? You turned around. This is what it looks like with her in it. Oh my god, your bow. Hi, baby. Play with the toys. I'm gonna try to eat this quickly. She still has, oh no, she has like 20, 30-ish minutes before she has to eat. All right, I just put her in the bouncer. <laughs> so cute. And I put on this, um, I think it's called Baby Wolf Sensory or something. She likes watching that, so that can keep her entertained for like 10, 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna sit here right next to her and watch the same thing while I eat my salad. I got my water. to go for a drive, to go get a Starbucks. Um, hopefully she'll take a nap, we'll see. First of all, that Jax Taylor wants me to get a real job when he also... We are back from our drive, but for the rest of the night, we're not gonna be really doing anything, just gonna be here. She has to eat again in an hour, so she slept in the car right now, but I'm gonna see, I'm gonna change her diaper now, and then I'm gonna see if she will take another nap. And that's it. I'm gonna try to catch up on The Bachelor because my friend told me I should watch it. And it's really, I usually don't like The Bachelor. Like, it's hard for me to get into. This is my second time trying it, so we'll see. It's starting to get good. It's like towards the end, so now it's starting to get interesting, but the beginning parts, I just can't sit through it. That's it, we're just gonna be hanging out. I'm gonna continue this vlog tomorrow morning um, when we go on our hot mom walk. Say bye. So. Say bye.